Hi, I'm uh, Ed Newton. I uh, am the chair of emergency medicine here at LA County USC Medical Center. So I'm Billy Mallon. Um, I'm a career ER doc and academic emergency physician here at LA County USC. I've spent uh, the better part of my career here, 16 years on the faculty, trained here. Hi, I'm Deku Mandavia. I'm an emergency physician. I've been on faculty at USC since 1994. Part of the problem with transporting people three floors away to the CT scanner is that that is fundamentally not safe to do with somebody who's unstable. I don't need one with 17 slide bars that looks like a sound mixer with all this stuff. I need a rugged machine that produces images reasonably quickly that's readily available. You know, we're in a code situation. The last thing I want to worry about is A, how to turn a machine on or is the machine going to work properly. This has to be technology that I can trust and Sonosite provides that. This is really sort of the first department to say, well, let's do it. Let's put it in a, at every resus tower so that we don't have to fish around for it. When you go out and work in a community hospital and you see a patient who you think has a, a ruptured aorta, you want to know right now, does that patient have a ruptured aorta? Those types of questions need real-time immediate answers. The idea that a radiologist is going to come to the bedside in emergency medicine? No. When you go home and you think and you reflect on your cases, you know, could I have done something different on that case? Would that patient have survived? Absolutely, it makes a difference, especially for critical cases. Like if you have a ruptured abdominal aneurysm, minutes count. In most community emergency departments, you know, non-academic, there's just not a radiologist around 24-7. But there are emergencies around 24-7. Sonosite is in the business of saving lives. That's what they do. If you can make the diagnosis very quickly, you can save a lot more people. They've innovated the technology significantly so in the last decade. This installation that we see here at USC is just an example of forward thinking. They will need to continue to push the envelope into more clinical areas that ultrasound can be used and bringing it closer to the patient.